In January 1999, Jones, then 12 years old, and his older sister killed their father's girlfriend, Sonia Nicole Spates, by shooting her with a handgun four times, according to USA Today. The pair also planned to murder their father and a male relative who was sexually abusing them. The children's claims of abuse went unheard, even after the Department of Children and Families identified evidence that abuse occurred, and prosecutors had both of them charged as adults for first-degree murder. To avoid a trial and a potentially harsher sentence, Jones and his sister pled guilty to second-degree murder and agreed to 18 years in prison and probation for life. On Tuesday, after a childhood behind bars and several failed fights for an earlier release, Jones left prison a 29-year-old ordained minister looking for a new start on life. While Jones hopes to start fresh, he is remembered by many as the youngest convicted killer ever. Unfortunately, Jones is not alone in this category. There are children across the country, some even younger than Jones was at the time of his crime, who have been charged with taking another person's life. Nathaniel Abraham age at time of crime, 11, age at conviction, 13, crime, in 1997, Abraham was arrested for killing 18-year-old carpenter Ronnie Green Jr. while he exited a Pontiac, Michigan, convenience store. The 11-year-old boy allegedly killed the man with a single rifle shot to head. Sentence, Abraham was charged as an adult under Michigan's controversial juvenile waiver law that allows children of any age accused of violent crimes to be charged, tried and sentenced as adults. The boy pled not guilty to the charges, including first-degree murder. During the trail his defense team maintained that Abraham had the mentality of a six-year-old, reports CBS News, and it was unfair for him to be tried as an adult. A jury found the boy guilty of second-degree murder. While the sentencing judge had the option to send Abraham to prison, reports the Associated Press, the boy ended up being sentenced as a minor. Abraham was sent to a juvenile detention facility where he was closely monitored until his release on his 21st birthday in 2007.